Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to set four of the Sudoku Tude series, where we're going to be doing the first slow thermo that's been done in Sudoku Tudes. Um, the testers found this one quite easy, and I enjoyed making it, and also found it quite easy. But easy puzzles can be fun if the logic is fun. I enjoyed this one. Um, and of course, the point is to improve scanning and um, understanding of the constraints. So that's the point. So of course, there'll be a link below to where you can uh, try this puzzle for yourself. I'm going to go through the rules now. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then these thermos are slow thermos. So digits on these thermos must either increase or stay the same as they progress from the bulb to the tip. So as you go along these thermos, the digits must either increase or stay the same. They cannot go down. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I don't remember how to solve this one. I just remember enjoying it. Let's give this a shot. So um, the way I normally do thermos, particularly quite long ones, is to say what are the maximum digits that can go into cells. So let's start here. This has a maximum of nine. So this has a maximum of nine because the digit could stay the same. This couldn't stay the same because th these two cells see each other in both the column and the box. So this has to go down. This could still be the same. So this could be an eight because these can be the same digit. These can't be the same digit, so this must be lower. This can't be the same digit, so this must be lower. These could be the same digit, so this could be a six. These can't be the same digit, this must be lower. These can't be the same digit, this could must be lower. These could be the same digit, so that can stay as a maximum of four. These could be the same digit. That could stay as, uh, no, these can't be the same digit because if, while well, these could be the same digit, these can't be the same digit. So this is a maximum of three and these could be the same digit. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, four, because this must be higher. Um, this is two, three, four. This is three, four, five. This is can't be uh, must be higher, so it's four five six. This could be the same, so this is four five six. I actually haven't checked to see if there's any digits that have been eliminated. This must be higher, so it's five or seven. It can't be six. This must be higher, so it's six seven or eight. This could be the same, so it's seven or eight because it can't be six. This must be higher, so it's eight or nine, and this could be the same, so this is eight or nine, and we get this thermo down to this pattern. So now let's try this one. This is a maximum of nine, could be the same, so maximum of nine, must be lower, so maximum of eight, could be the same, maximum eight. I'm not trying to compare to this yet, I'm just trying to pencil mark the thermos. Must be lower, maximum seven, must be lower, maximum six, could be the same, maximum six, must be lower, but can't be five. So this is a maximum of four, must be lower, maximum of three, could be the same, maximum of three, uh, can't be the same because if this was the same as this, those would we um, we'd have a problem here. So this must be lower than that digit. So maximum two, and this could be the same. So this is a maximum of two. So we got one two one two two three because it must be higher than that. Two three three four four five six. This must be higher, so this must be a six, because, it, uh, no, this could be a four, so this is four or six, these could be the same, so four, six, this must be higher, so five, six, seven, uh, must be higher, six, seven, eight, could be the same, six, seven, eight, uh, must be higher, seven, eight, nine, must be higher, seven, eight, nine. But now we've got a bunch of quads all over the place, including that being a one, two, three, triple. So that must be a four. So that must be a four. That must be a five. This has to be higher at six, must be the same at six, must be higher, must be higher, must be the same, must be higher, has to be the same. And that takes eight and nine out of there, which makes that the seven. And that's forcing all of these to be minimums. Seven, six, six, five, four, four, three, two, two, one, one, which leaves this being three, which makes that the three. And the combination of those two thermos gives us all this digit. And now we've got a classic Sudoku. Now, normally, I, well, historically, I was not a fan of puzzles where the constraints just gave you a bunch of digits and it turned into a classic Sudoku. Now, I would normally try and reiterate, I don't then like it to turn into a tricky classic Sudoku. I don't like the constraints to be eliminated in the first minute and then the rest of the puzzle to take 15. Hopefully, I haven't done that. We will see. Um, because then I don't think it's a variant. I think it's 
classic Sudoku. Um, whereas with this one, hopefully this is half the puzzle. We'll find out. Three can't go into any of those or any of those. Although I have to admit, I'm a lot less picky about that now that I'm exploring classics a lot more. But we will see how we go. Um, five can't be in any of those. So it's in one of those three. I'm still not wanting to pencil mark into three locations. What I can do is say what this triple is. One, four, five. And there's a one and a four in this column. So that's the five and there's no five there. The four is looking up making that the one and that the four. Now I can look at fives down here because they must be in one of those two because I've got that five looking down. One is in one of those two by Sudoku, but I've got this one looking in as well. So that's a one. Let's look at this pair. This is two and eight, and there's an eight there. So that becomes a two, that becomes an eight. I have to put a one in one of those two, a two in one of those two, a four in one of those two, and a nine down here with two. So this is two nine. I can get rid of those pencil marks, and this must be the one, and this must be the four. So these are down to pairs. Three and five, not resolved. 1 and 4, which is resolved. That's the 4, that's the 1. Okay. What's next? 2. 2 can't be in any of those or any of those. So 2 is in one of those two. Well, let's just put in the 1, 2 that must be here. And the 1 looks across saying that's the 2 and that's the 1. Okay. What are these two digits? 2 and 8. And the 2 can't go there. So that's the 8 that's the two, that's not the two. This is a triple. Six, seven, and nine. Okay, let's look at this pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are an eight, nine pair. Not sure. Okay, in here I need to put a... F well, actually, let's look at this triple. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine have to go in there. And I can't put a six there. So six is in one of those two. Seven has to be in one of those two. Yeah, where's seven in this box? That seven saying not there, that seven saying not there. So that's the seven. And this is not the seven. And this is a five, six, nine triple. This has to be five or nine because I can't put six there. So this is five or nine. But what's this column missing? Three, five, and nine? No. Then five is looking down, making that the nine. So there's no nine there. This is a five, six pair which means this is the nine, and I, these are down to pairs. Well, that has to be the five in the box. That five is saying not there, that five is saying not there. That's the five in the box. This is the two not in the column, and these are the three and the eight that haven't been placed in the box. Okay. One, two, three, seven, and eight go into those. The nine is taking nine out of both of those. So that's a six, seven, making that a nine, but the six, seven is looking across taking seven out of there. And the seven is looking up taking seven out of there. That's the seven. Okay. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. Two is looking up making that the nine and that the two. So these three digits are two, six, and seven. Well, I can't put two into either of those because of those. So this is a two and this is a six, seven. Need to put a three in here, and it's not in either of those two. So that's a three. These are five, six, and seven. There's no seven in either of those. So that's the seven, that's the six, that's the seven. These are a five, six. That gives me a five, six pair here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight or a nine, and the nine is looking down, making that the eight, making that the nine, that the eight. The eight is looking up, making that the three, that the eight, the three looks up making that the five and that the three, the three looks across making that the eight and that the three. These columns, uh, that's missing five and nine, and I'll use the nine to make that the five and that the nine. These are four and six, I'll use the four to make that the six, that the four, the six to make that the five and that the six, and the six to make that the five and that the six, and that is the solution to the puzzle. A nice, easy variant to start it off, but I quite like the, re um, the relationships of the slow thermos. And I do feel like the slow thermo in this puzzle is most of the deductions, but it's a nice, easy variant variant to get going. So it wasn't a puzzle where the variants are giving you a bunch of digits in the first 30 seconds and then it's another 15 minutes of classic Sudoku. I do try and avoid that 
but some may slip through. It may happen. But if that becomes the common thing I'm doing, I think I need to readjust what I'm doing because I don't feel, I think removing the variance and turning it into a classic Sudoku is what you do at that point. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the variants to come. And as always, good luck with your solving.